What's up guys, it's your boy Goose Attack here today with a brand new video. We're going to be cracking into the, well starting, the left side of the box of Lost Thunder. Super happy about this. I've been trying to create a brand new Lost March deck, so, you know, it's, it's going to be fun to crack into some Lost Thunder. This is a discontinued set. I mean, this didn't print for, uh, this printed about, uh, I want to say about six months ago. This was right before Team Up. They've had the uh, Lost Thunder. And uh, it just went discontinued. It went in the dark so fast. It was one of those sets that was, you know, had a short lifespan, which does make it a harder, already an amazing set, in my opinion, to have, especially to hold product with. So, I mean, it should, if you guys do own one box, you should hold on to it, to my opinion. I mean, it is better to hold on to something that is, like, so sought after. So, let's get right into it, guys. We got ourselves here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine packs. And uh, right after that, we shall check what we get. Okay, well, we're gonna see if the lighting is good. Yeah, lighting looks good. Okay, guys, starting with the Celebi pack. You know, let me fix the focus for everybody. Perfect. Let's get in there. I mean, we did pretty good yesterday. We got ourselves one GX out of the box, so there's uh, quite still a bit left. And already starting with that white color cold card, guys. So I am looking for a Jump Pluff Hollow. Uh, Rainbow Rare, Lola, Nine Tails, another Professor Elms, uh, Lecture Full Art, uh, a lot of Skip Plumes, Jump Pluffes, all that kind of stuff. A Tron is a great car for the uh, for the Lost March deck. Like I reviewed it yesterday's video. Pachirisu, Hop it. Wow, this is really a Lost March deck almost uh, pack. And if you get ourselves a Jump Pluff, that'd be amazing. Blitzel. Oh, next looks like we have a Prism Star. No. Stuntfish is the reverse all, which is a common, and the rare of this pack is a hollow. Oh, Tapu Bulu, guys. I really thought that was the jump bluff. I saw that green. I was super happy. Too bad it's just a Tapu, Blue, a Tapu Bulu. <laughs> Such a hard name to pronounce. Wild Tackle. Flip a coin. If Tails is Pokemon, does 30 damage to itself. So that's not very good, especially that it only hits for 120. So not a very good card. Heavy Punch. This attack does 20 more damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That could be pretty good. Against like a Zorark deck or with a Zorark deck. So, on to pack number two of this opening. I mean, I really like the Lost March deck. I don't think uh, after this box, I'm not sure if I'll be opening up any more Lost Thunder booster boxes. So, we'll see. I definitely will try to find single packs and stuff like that. But I will keep the rest of my Lost Thunder booster boxes sealed for future, for future content, or maybe just for future. Good investments. <laughs> we shall see. Giraffe, Marini, it's not blue. Slugma, Pipiki, Brushish, Spinarak is a reverse hollow, which this was good. When this first came out, I was using Spinarak in my last March deck. I really did like that uh, Spider Scam for one grass. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not paralyzed and poisoned. Put your, put this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into the lost zone, so it really helped. Boost up the lost, uh, lost March attack, and then we got a wiggly tough, a fat wiggly tough for our rare spot. Okay, let's get into it. A couple more packs to go. Same with that slow poke, not a green color cold card, guys. Here you go. Okay, starting with a Curlia, Mantine. Ardeus, Slowpoke, Chub Chow, Alolan Diglett, Natu is another great car for the Lost March, Chikorita, I get to add to my uh, Generation 2 Pokemon, Larvitar is the Reverse Hollow, which is just a common, but great looking artwork, do like that artwork, and the rare of this pack is a Tangrowth, non hollow, Wimp Ship, so, okay, guy. I did a next pack with that Bless Ephelon. Still have never pulled a Bless Ephelon GX, Full Art, any kind of Bless Ephelon ever out of Lost Thunder. And I've pulled up quite a lot of this product. So, really looking forward to getting myself a Bless Ephelon to add to my collection. Then with a Flaffy. Kylie, which we did get this in Full Art form. Trainer, Swadu, Larvitar, Tangela, Nakata, Chinchow, Mareeps. Beauty Flat, which is a reverse hollow rare. So that's a pretty good pull. And the rare of the pack is an unknown. This does remind me of the old Neo Destiny days when they used to put unknown in the rarest body, even hollows. You got A, B, I think Z, all kinds of cool different unknowns. 
there were some of them that were uncommon, and I remember there was like a handful that were rares, which as a kid was not the funnest thing to pull out of a pack. You know, you kind of wanted that Tyranitar or something cool out of the Generation 2. Wow, some of these packs, I feel like they have to, like, fight me. Like, I literally pulled out, like, the little shard of plastic, guys. Like, look at this. Like, that's the piece that had to come out. It's insane how strong them. Some of them are easy. Some of them are just going to fight me like I'm hurting them. Okay. Starting with a shy talk. Silly on with that trippy background. Employee. Rumple. Litwick. Combi. Marini. Larvitar. Ooh, reverse all a Tron Beak. So this is amazing for Lost Dark Jack. Super happy about this. I actually needed a couple of these guys. And the rare of this pack is another unknown. It's too bad they didn't put like the leathers. That would have been cool. Like unknown A, unknown Z, you know, different kinds of unknowns. That would have been super cool. Can't wait for the day that they end up uh, sending out the unknown GX card that does like some super cool ability. That would be super awesome. Imagine that. Like you got like an unknown. That like you like unknown alphabet with like a crazy GX moving like 200 HP. That would be sick. Okay, guys. Got, got ourselves a white color cold card here. I feel like I saw something shiny at the end. I mean, we are due for a GX. We've only pulled one so far out of this box, and we are going in. Whitney. Jigglypuff. Mareeps. Olin Volpex. Houndour. Peepole. Mareep is the reverse hollow, which is just a common. And the rare of the pack. Ooh. A Typhlosion hollow. One of the easier hollows to get in the Lost March. Uh, Lost Thunder decks. This is, uh, I do have pulled this quite a couple times compared to, let's say, like a Jump Luff or something like that. I mean, I think I pulled Typhlosion. I'll probably have a play set him by now. It's got that Lost Flame for four Fire Energies. Put two Energies attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into the Lost one. That's pretty decent. Put two Energies attached to your opponent. Yeah, that's pretty decent, but still. Blazing Energy. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may use this ability. All Energies attached to your Pokemon are Fire Energies. Increase their usual type until the end of your turn. Instead of their usual type. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, I see that. I've never seen it in play, but I don't know. Maybe that might set up good with the Resha Ram and Charizard deck. Because that is a flame deck, so I'm not too sure. But, I mean, it does take a lot to evolve, you know, Cyndaquil to Quivol and then Typhlosion. So, that is quite a big process. Anyways, you guys, we got another white color cull card, so... Hopefully, we get ourselves a GX, at least, to get a, to pull something out of this video. So, anyway, the Quilava... Rifrad, Carbink, Durant, Marips, Fanfi, Nakata, Marley. The Dane is a reverse all, which you could get this in the GX form now in the new Unbroken Bond, so that's pretty cool. Which is just, uh, it's actually an uncommon card. And the rare this is another hollow. We got ourselves a Cobaline. So you can get this in the team up form in the GX. So that's pretty good. We've got a Cobalt line. I never really got this. I don't think I've ever gotten this card before. Guard press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. That's pretty cool for 30 damage. And then Metal Arms. If this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool that's hard attached to it, this attack does 40 more damage. So 120. That's pretty decent. Not too hard of a setup, too, to put an extra tool on him, like an escape board or maybe even something for HP. So that's pretty cool. Not bad, guys. So we got a lot of hollows in this opening again, but... Definitely lacking on the GX is so far out of this box. So we got two packs left out of this side. And we got one more tomorrow. Only nine packs to do. So, I mean, we're still missing three GXs. We did hit the full art shuckle in the first video. So, we might have hit the full art for the box early. But there is three GXs left. So, we'd like uh, maybe to pull off a Bless Ephelon. We did hit the Alola Nine Tails too. So, wait and see, Hammer. Netball, another great card for Lost March. Scyther. Stunfisk. Chikorita, they got alternate artworks in this set too, which is pretty cool for a common Pokemon. A little Meowth, Yamask. Ooh, another Celebi Prism Star, guys. This is the second one I pulled out of this box, which is pretty cool. I didn't know you could pull two of the same Prism Stars out of the same box, so that's pretty decent, I guess. Not too much of a fan of this card. Ability is pretty garbage. And the rare is a Zebra Strike. Wow, guys, so we're on to the last pack, which has a Celebi all on artwork on it, so that's pretty funny. So let's see if we can pull something out of this pack. Maybe end off with a boomer. And it's a green color gold card, guys. I'm not going to hope for a prism start because we just got one of those. Which is the third one. So hopefully we get that reverse hall jump love. Choice helmet. Morty. Stantler. 
the Danny, again, another alternate artwork. Cinequil, Pineco, Eevee, Brushkey, Versal is a Marini, which is a, just a common. And the rare and ending of this video is a Bear Tick. So, nothing to revise out of these guy in packs, guys. I mean, we got ourselves three hollows that I mixed up with the common and uncommon. I'm not going to try to find them now. And one Prism Star. So, pretty much a light nine packs. But, hey, guys, tomorrow, I think this is these packs are going to be pretty hot. We are guaranteed at least three, hollow, uh, three GXs out of this side of the box. Hopefully, another wild card to just make this side super epic at the end. Hopefully, we get that good box odds. I hopefully, we get another three GXs because that would be bare minimum. With the full art, four GXs, and a trainer would make a decent, not a great, but a decent booster box opening. So far, we're happy with that, uh, That uh, you know, we got our, a trainer at least. And that's it, guys, for today. So hopefully, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuce Attack is out.